Hi everyone, welcome back to Stella Rose Bella, where I talk about the latest Asian drama, music, and shows. Today, I want to talk about my first impressions of Who Rules the World. So let's get into it. This, first off, is based off of a, like, an original, like, book. There's like a book, like a story. I've never read it. So this drama stars Zhao Lu Si as Bai Feng Xi or Feng Xi Yun, Yang Yang as Hei Feng Xi or um, Feng Lan Xi. So why do they have two names? And they both have another identity, which is with their other names. Um, Hei Feng Xi is actually a prince. And Zhao Lu's character, Bai Feng Xi, is also a princess. So that is their characters. They have double identities. So both of them, the synopsis, I'll give it to y'all. Based on what I've seen so far, it's basically like there is a Huang Shi who is like the top, who rules like every, like the world basically. And there's do, like six different Zhou's and all of them have their own Wang. So I, that's why, um, um, Hei Feng Xi and Bai Feng Xi, they're like different Zhou's like prince or pr uh, princesses. So that's the reason why there's that. And there's a Ling Pai that is gone, it's lost, like it's somehow like gone, nobody knows what happened to it. And whoever has that Ling Pai sort of like rules the world basically. And like Huang Shi told everyone, like the rest of the Liu Zhou, like they need to find it. Whoever finds it rules, like can take over, you know take over the world basically. Their characters' names also talk about their personalities. Obviously, I don't really know their exact meaning of their names, but I feel like it really sort of describes their characters. Like Bai Feng Xi, she's like, I feel like she's really like out in the open. She's like whoever like Bu Gong Ping or Shema, like she would go and like help those people and like anything she'll go and help. And Hei Feng Xi in the other side, he's like totally, he does help but he's sort of like in the background sort of like area and he's actually the leader of um Ying Chun Shui Xi so basically he has his own like sort of like organization I guess but he has like different like um Zemishwana <laughs> different like areas like all over the place where he like his people takes like different Xiao Xi's from like other people and he knows a lot of things like really quick so that's why he's like really known in the martial arts with like Jiang Hu. And Bai Feng Xi is also known in the world as someone who's like really like helping in like people and like very hao shuang hai. Or just like, and they all describe, keep on hearing this phrase to describe her as a very beautiful person. So the cinematography, cinematography, the cinematography. <laughs> um, I have to say the angles that they used for a certain part, it was really cool. It was sort of like a tilted angle, but like far away zoom out. And I was like, ooh, this is like, it reminded me of some like angles that like I've seen in like movies. And I was like, this is cool. I think like the introduction of the different characters are really cool. Like Hei Feng Xi, you don't really, like obviously we know who plays Hei Feng Xi, but you meet him from like, you see him like sitting down, like drinking water, I think. And like, reading some book or whatever and you see from the back and then like you slowly see who this person is. I don't know, I really like how it's filmed. Um, and then in this drama there are some like elements that brings back like sort of like back in the day like wuxia dramas that I've seen. Like for example when you see like um, Bai Feng Xi's like character first comes out. She's there in this like bamboo forest area and she's like on top of one bamboo just like standing there looking down on the people that's gonna like attack this person. So I was like, oh, okay. I actually like fight scenes that are in the bamboo forest. I don't know. I just like have this like nostalgia feeling to it. So I was like, oh, this is so cool to see this used again, you know. And also I love that her weapon that I've seen her use so far, a lot of the times it's just like this long like cloth that comes out, this white cloth comes out from her clothing. And I feel like that does remind me, if you watch like, um, Condor Heroes, the version that has uh, Huang Xiaoming as Yang Guo. That version, um, Gu Gu, she also uses like a white cloth 
to like fight and everything. I'm like I actually like that. I think it's really cool. Even though Heifumshi's weapon is also like a fan, but I was like, okay. But I like the cloth more. I don't know. That's just me. So the relationship between these two people, I have to say that um, it's interesting that they both have this like double, like, you know, another identity, but even though they've known each other for that, like, 10 years or so, they never revealed to each other, like, oh, like, I have this other identity. That's one thing. And it's like, they trust each other, but they're also, like, sort of, like, not, you know, there's something, like, fang, like, they're not that you know, too honest with each other. I think in this drama, there are also comedy bits in it, which I really like. Um, the comedy bits, I have to say, one of them is when Bai Feng Xi goes to Han Fu to get medicine. And there's like this joke that she makes and then he's like, hey, what, what? But also like when He Feng Xi goes and helps um, Bai Feng Xi when she's attacked by these people. And basically the stunt scene the fight scene was really funny actually basically that's what i want to say about that part for comedy bits story wise i like it so far i wouldn't say like a hundred percent love the story but i have to say that this drama so far i think like not only it involves like Jiang Hu, obviously there's gonna be like different like the different Zhou's and like there's like Huang Zhi, like the royal family like politics side of stuff but um the story, I think I, what I like is because it had the elements that I talked about earlier. But I feel like in the beginning, I was just fed with so much information because there's so many characters coming out all at once. And I was like, oh my gosh, what is going on? Uh, there's too many characters to remember. Even though on the side, it would say like when a new character appears, the character's name would be like on the side and telling the audience like, oh, th who this is and what's their name. And I was like, dude. Oh, too many all at once. I couldn't like take it. And then like the Ling Pai that's like that's gone. It's like you know, I think like if if it's lost and you still want to keep like ruling the world, why would you tell everyone else to like you know the different like the rest of the Liu Zhou to like go and search for the Ling Pai? I understand that maybe you just want them to fight to the death or whatever, but then I was like I don't know, this story wise is like why would you just not keep it secretly even though I know that that's the point of the reason why they told people the outside people like oh the Ling Pai like Diola as for Hei Feng Xi and Bai Feng Xi like they've been in Jiang Hu based on what the drama shown for like 10 years or so like even though they have another identity like how come like they don't have their they don't have put on a mask or anything like people know how they look like so I was like aren't they scared of running into people that they know you know what I mean like what the heck? Like, they living a double life? Like, huh? <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like that doesn't really make sense to me because I was like, you don't, like, you don't hide your face or anything. Like, anyone that knows you from your, you know, your hometown, your own, like, where you usually are, people would know, like, who you are. So, yeah, and then, so, we know so much more about Hei Feng Xi's, like, background story, but as for Bai Feng Xi's story, we don't really know much of yet, because, you know, there's, like, 40-some episodes. I have to say that, you know, if you see his character change as Bai Feng Xi in, when he is in the palace, Lan Xi, uh, very different. Um, I have to say, I was just blown away when he was just like in front of his dad and like kneeling and everything and I was like, who is this person that I see in front of me? He's so different from like the the person that I saw in the Jiang Hu. I was like, what the heck? And then like, what? What is going on? And as for um, Bai Hong Xi, I am excited to see how her character is when she's like with her family and like in that you know surrounding and let's see how she is anyways that is my first impression of the drama what do you think of the drama so far what do you think of the costume and everything the fight scenes i feel like they're all awesome um for the fight scenes and everything i was like this is so cool um so anyways let me know what you think in the comments below and i will see you in the next video Bye bye